Okay, so welcome to another new trading video. Okay, this time we will be talking about uh, how to use MetaTrader. So this is basically a tutorial. So we don't have any PowerPoint slides. Uh, we'll just dive straight into the platform. Okay, uh, reason for this video is because there's a lot of uh, subscribers who are um, probably using other brokerages or you're not too familiar with MetaTrader for. So uh, we just created this uh, video to teach you how to use the platform. Okay, um, especially if you're using um, our brokerage, our sponsoring brokerage, then uh, this will be the platform that you are using. Okay, uh, if you have not claimed your um, cash bonus um, from our brokerage, do make sure to claim. Claim it, right? Uh, we'll find in $500, you get a $200 cash back on losses. And we'll find in $1,000, you get $300 cash back on losses. Okay, I'll put the link in the description for you. Okay, anyway, let's get to it. So um, this is MetaTrader 4. Okay, so as you can see, um, now we're currently looking at gold. So um, how do you use this platform? Um, okay, so it's very simple. Um, look at that uh, bottom left. Okay, this is um, um, the currency or, you know, the a pair that you're looking in this case we are looking at gold xau usd is gold okay so the, how do you actually change a currency pair is you actually press the space bar okay so when you press the space bar um this will come out okay so let's say um today you want to look at a euro dollar okay so you just type euro dollar then uh, it shows up okay nothing too difficult about it uh in fact you can also change the time frame uh, if you want to look at a specific time frame you can type euro dollar for example page one Okay, and it, it just changes. Okay. Um, but if you want to change your time frame, you can also change it uh, at the top right over here. Okay, actually, MetaTrader is pretty easy to use. Okay. Um, it's it's very simple and it's very uh it's very slick. So if you want to change, uh, it's the same over here. Okay. So sometimes uh this is like the toolbar. Okay. Uh, sometimes you don't need to see all, all the time frames. What you can do is you can actually customize. So if let's say um, you are not really scalping, uh, you don't really want to see this uh, 15 minutes and 30 minutes, correct? Okay, you can do it this way. Okay, so uh, now you can see that uh, there's only this few time frames. Okay, that's how you uh, change the time frame. Okay, so we showed you how to change the currency pair. We show you how to change the time frame. Okay, um, the other thing that you want to do uh, when it comes to trading, trading uh, different currencies, you want to look at um, the different time, uh, different currencies. You can just click on this uh, plus sign here. Okay, so you have uh, all this. Okay, so all these are indexes. Okay, commodities. Uh, FS stands for uh, full shares. Okay, in our in our brokerage it stands for full shares, but uh, depending on brokerage, uh, it might be different. Okay. So uh, this is how you do it. Okay, so you can also have different profiles. Okay, um, so what is a different profile? Uh, what's a profile? So for example, uh, for us, we set it up this way. Okay, so um, let's say we have a euro profile. Um, just a moment. Okay, if we have a euro, um, just a moment, let me just adjust this. Okay, we have a euro profile, then uh, let me just, let me just adjust this first. Okay, so um, this is our euro profile. Uh, so we do this to see uh, all the euro pairs at one glance. Okay, so this is a profile that we save. So how you can do it is uh, you can, you know, set up your charts already, right? Set up your charts and then you press something like, um, wait, how come it's not here? Right, you can just uh, save it actually, right? Save profile as, okay? Let me just maybe show you uh, another trick. Um, how come we don't see it here? Just a moment, let us. Mm. Okay, uh, I can't find it, but okay, bottom line is uh, you can save different profiles and it's very useful for helping you understand uh, what the market is looking at. Okay, you see at a glance, we know, okay, um, right now it seems like uh, um, this is yen crosses. It seems like yen crosses is relatively strong. We say it's bullish, it's bullish. Um, this is kind of mixed. This is bullish. Uh, this is bullish, this is bullish, and this is bullish. So that's one thing you can do also to save different profiles. Okay. Uh, you also have the market watch, uh, which shows all the currency pair. You can, you know, drag it out like that. Um, but uh, generally, we don't really use this. Okay. We don't really use this. Okay. We also have the data window. Meaning when you are pointing at a candle, you can see um, 
you kind of can see the uh, the date, the time, the clothes, you know. But then again, uh, we don't really use it. Okay. The other thing that uh, let me just bring this down because um the screen sharing you can't see it. Okay. The other thing we want to show you is that um instead of using the data uh, window, uh look at the bottom right over here when we point at um this. Look at bottom right. You can see over here. Okay. You can see the details here. Okay. So you can see the O stands for open, H stands for high, and low, uh, L stands for low, C stands for close, and B stands for volume. Okay, so uh, that's the other way you can see it. So, okay, um, so that's about it. So for navigator, this is where you have uh, all your, uh, you have all your uh, indicators. Okay, maybe in a separate video, we'll teach you how to uh, install custom indicators, expert advices and stuff like that. But basically, uh, this is where you can actually kind of, you know, just uh, drag and drop, okay, to put in your indicators. Okay, The other way that uh, you can insert an indicator would be to uh, click uh, insert and uh, indicators, you know, like maybe for example, Bollinger Band, which is one of the indicators that uh, we teach, okay, something like that, okay. And then next up uh, will be the new order. Okay, new order is as simple as you get. Uh, this is a symbol. So of course, if you're on this chart and you press new order, then uh, you get uh, the currency that you're trying to trade. Okay, but always be sure to check that uh, you're buying the currency uh, uh, that you want to buy or you're selling the currency that you want to sell. Okay, so in this case, uh, one, uh, if you're new to uh, MetaTrader, one stands for a standard lot. Okay, one standard lot represents uh, 100,000 uh, of a currency. And generally, that equates to about uh, one pip equals to 10 USD. Okay, of course it varies from currency to currency, but generally um that is what it means. Okay, so if uh you, you trade a let's say you trade a 0 0.1, uh this is known as a mini lot. Okay, a mini lot is actually ten thousand, ten thousand of a position and it represents a one dollar per pip movement on average. Okay, and you have zero point uh zero one, uh this is a micro lot, and this is a one thousand. Okay, it's it's a it's a position size of one thousand and it represents uh ten cents per pip movement. Okay, so um here you also have uh your stop loss, your take profit, which uh you should always be putting your stop loss, always be inserting your stop loss. Okay, uh, it's okay for you not to put your take profit, but always put in your stop loss. Okay, if you want to have a comment, it's also possible. Maybe you um you're trading a system and uh, this is set up. One, you know, you can you can just write it down for your own reference. Type, okay. Now we talk about type. Uh, type. There's two types. Market execution is the kind of trade orders that we generally use. Okay, we always tell you market buy. Mm -hmm. So when we say market buy, we're essentially saying that okay, um, buy at the market now. Execute it uh this way. Just go ahead and click the sell or buy button. That means that you are buying at the current price level. Okay. If it's a pending order, um, there is two kinds. Okay, there's a buy uh, limit and a buy stop. Okay, a buy limit means that uh, let me just uh, sh show it to you. Okay, let's say price is at one one nine point one one. Okay, a buy limit means that you want to buy at a better price. So, for example, you put a buy limit at uh one one nine. Okay, so this means that uh you may not get in a position because the price might just you know from here rally on to uh directly to uh. You know the next level, so that's called a limit order. Your execution is not guaranteed, meaning that you may not actually get the position. But if price does fall, you, you get in at a better price. Okay, so a buy limit works like that. A sell limit is the opposite. So now price is one one nine point one one, right? Uh, you sell at a better price. So maybe you say you want to sell at one one three point three eight. So maybe we just uh you know just show it to you something like that. Okay, one one nine point three eight. So uh so this is a limit order, okay. So that means you are selling at this level. But of course be sure to put in your stop losses, okay. So uh to delete it, just uh, click the delete button. Okay, so the next one we want to talk about is a buy stop. Okay, so what is a buy stop or a sell stop? A buy stop or sell stop is actually used for breakouts, meaning that uh, you want to buy at a worse price. So for example, um you, you you look at the charts, you say, okay, uh, this seems to be like a resistance level. So I want to buy if price successfully breaks out of this resistance level. So you say, okay, maybe I want to buy when price reaches uh, 119.2, just for example. Okay, so what you do is uh, you just put in a limit, a uh, buy order, buy, buy stop. Okay, 119.2. 
So what happens is that when price goes to 119.2, uh, your buy order will be triggered. Okay. So then again, this is another pending order, which means that your execution is not guaranteed. Okay. So if price just from here goes down, then uh, you, you won't be in the trade. Okay. Which is also a good thing because uh, uh, you, 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 you have gotten to stop out if, if you're, you're buying. Okay. So uh, the same thing works for sell stop. So price now is 119.12 and you want to sell at, maybe you want to sell on a breakout of this low here. So maybe you want to sell at 118.80. So you just set it up the same way. Okay, just do a sell stop. Okay, 118.80. Okay, then you just place it like that. Okay, not too difficult. Okay, so I'll just delete it. Okay, so that's how you place an order. Okay, so um, this all this we won't really cover because uh, it's not really necessary. This is for actually uh, if you're using expert advisor to trade, okay, which is not necessary for this moment. Okay, so the other thing that we can also see is the uh, is the is the types of charts. Okay, let me just uh, broaden this because we can't really see. It. Okay, this is giving me problem. Um, just a moment. I was so hard to drag. Okay, let me just let me just okay. Sorry, just give me a moment. Okay, so anyway, back to this. Um, yeah. So you, if if you watch our videos, you know that uh, we talk about using a line chart also. So uh, how how you change your line chart if you just click here. Okay. There's also, of course, a bar chart, okay, which uh, I don't know why I'm having issues pulling it out now. Okay, it's weird, but um, let me just try to fix this now. Okay, um, yeah, I don't know why it's not working. Something wrong with MetaTrader now. But uh, basically, that's how you change. Uh, okay, you, you can change it this way as well. You want to change to a bar chart, okay? But generally, we don't really use a bar chart. We use a candlestick, okay? So uh, that's this, okay? Uh, all your tools are here. Your crosshair, the point, okay? To drag and drop, okay? Uh, uh, vertical lines, okay? This is a horizontal line to draw of support and resistance. If you want to edit the, um, the, 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 you know how it looks, the, you know the thickness of the line, whether it's dotted or not, okay? You can do it this way. Okay, and uh, if you want to use the equal, equal distance channel that uh, we have taught in our YouTube videos, uh, this is how you do it as well. Just, you know, click this. Okay, uh, if you see that you do not have all this, just right click customize and just um, port it over. Okay, meaning, uh, like for example, triangle, you can bring it over or you can remove it. Okay. Okay, Fibonacci level. Okay, just draw it. Same thing. Okay, uh, these are text. Text meaning uh, you want to say, I want to sell here, okay? Um, nothing too difficult or this pretty elementary, okay? Uh, if you want to draw a triangle, just uh, draw it like that, okay? If you want the triangle to be filled like uh, by us, then um, just click uh, draw object as background. But if you don't, then just, uh, you know, just uncheck it, okay? So in our case, we'll check it, okay? Okay, then uh, of course uh, you have all these signs, right? Like maybe if you want to help yourself understand better, okay, so this is support, you know, then um, this is turn down as resistance, okay? So this is how you do it, okay? So uh, this is zoom in. So uh, yeah, oh, this finally appeared. So this is what we were saying. If you want to arrange your, uh, your charts nicely, you can click this, okay? It will arrange your chart very nicely, okay? Then uh, if you want to save this as a, uh, you want to save this as a profile or you can just you know save it as a profile like like that save profile as and you name it okay uh, this uh, this is a button for you to add an indicator in uh, you can also access it like we said over here okay indicators and edit here okay now we talk about the charts okay how do you uh, set up your charts for success <coughs> Okay, so the way you uh, edit your chart would be to do a right click, okay, um, do click on properties. So in our case, we are set up like that, okay, uh, of course, there's inbuilt ones, you can do it like that, you know, uh, you can just play around with it, 
okay or you can do this okay it doesn't matter but what you can do is once you uh, set it up the way you like it you want to save it you just go on the templates save templates and you just save it as default okay if you save it as default that means that uh, every time you open a new chart it's going to look like that okay so our default over here is uh, like that so notice whenever we open a new chart, uh, it, it looks like that, okay? Just a moment. Sorry for all the technical issues. Okay, so um, that's how you create uh, the templates, okay? Um, anything else? Okay, the other thing that uh, is also very cool is uh, something known as a one-click trading. Okay, sometimes uh, market moves fast and you want to be able to enter the market fast. So to enable one-click trading, just do a right-click, okay, right-click. Click one click trading and uh, just put your position size here. Right, that means if you want to buy or sell, you can just uh, click the button. You don't actually need to do this over here. Okay, so I think that's about it for this video. Okay, um, yep, if you have any questions about how to use the platform, uh, write in to us, uh, comment down below because we love to hear your challenges, um, the questions you have. Okay, uh, in a separate video, we'll probably talk more about uh, the technical stuff such as how to install your indicators, you know. Um, how to use the indicators okay so for now um, that will be all okay we'll see you in the next video